<laughs> Morning, Bruce. Morning, Team Southern Cross. And good morning, Quail. Morning, guys. Oh, dear, oh, dear. What have we got happening here? Big fat corn cross just sitting and resting because that's what they do best. It's, um... The 4th of December, which in Australia is the fourth day of our summer because for some reason they decided that um, um, the solstice wasn't the time to change seasons, the beginning of the month was. Now, they're frazzles and they're very frazzled at the moment. Uh, they've been nesting for four weeks and they get brittle feathers. They're a frizzle crossed with a frizzle and so they get a triple fold on their thing so they're not good. But there's one of the babies that had hatched and I don't know whose egg it was but it's not a frizzle. Um, they're my Cornish cross enjoying a bit of free range supplemental feed that is a um, black copper moran crossed with an ice of brown somebody somebody just laid an egg <laughs> it's a bit noisy here this morning and this is a golden campaign girl she is beautiful like beautiful white eggs that's a silky rooster. That is a silky cross Langshan bantam. That is a Brahma baby that was hatched. Uh, but the frazzles are rather cute. That one's called Charlotte. This is my yard. This is my shed. And it's a bit messy at the moment and this is going to be my garden but it's going to take me a bit of time to weed it because i was just growing stuff in containers i just wanted to give a shout out to um, uh, adventures of frank and tina for their brilliant absolutely brilliant shed wars trailer for the southern hemisphere Go over and have a look at it, people. Um, and the other thing I wanted to uh, comment on is John. John from Will It Grow. Mm. To be excused, I suppose, uh, because he is from the Northern Hemisphere. But there is a difference between a kiwi and a kangaroo. And it's a bit of an insult to call a kiwi a kangaroo. So you might want to research that, John. Um, other than that, um, stay tuned and I will uh, clean up that uh, potential garden space and then I will um, show what I've done with it and uh, uh, get some veggies growing in this summer heat for um, a potentially great harvest, we'll see. Anyway, I might lose the lot like last year in the heat. And we've just had four days of 42 degrees heat here. That's 107.6 for the people in the Northern Hemisphere. Anyway, like, share, subscribe, um, comment, critique. Uh, and I expect some abuse from John, but such is life. Anyway, stay safe, everyone.